Good afternoon, Mr. Dinakar Yadav. Am I audible to you? Hello. Ah, sir, you're audible now. I have made yeah. you a presenter. Yeah, okay. Sir. Right. In just two or three minutes, we'll start the session. Sure, sir. Okay. Sudha, so, madam. Sir, sit in, sir. Allah, uh, you will go ahead with the introduction, now. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So we'll start in another two minutes. We'll wait for the participant to join. Good afternoon, all the participants. I'm happy to introduce the session three speaker. Today's uh, session three, uh, Mr. Dinakar Adosi. Mr. Dinakar is a, a cyber security analyst at the CSCC Labs Hyderabad. The motto of the company is it provides the complete end to end cyber security solutions. And he has graduated from a computer science engineering and he has completed his post graduation in cyber security at SOC experts Bangalore. He has uh, the skills related to the digital forensic malware analysis, incident response, ethical hacking. He has more than 2 years of experience as a cyber security analyst. He has trained more than 150 students virtually on cyber security for the colleges of OU, BU and JEC. So we will uh, have a session from uh, Mr. Dinakar, uh, the third session today. Over to you, Dinakar, sir. Welcome to the session and over to you. Thank you, madam. Uh, it's my pleasure to give session here. So shall we start the session? Or shall we wait for some for the participants? Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. You can start the session. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Okay, is my screen visible? Can anyone yes, confirm? Yes. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Zinekar. So, 
today the topic is network uh, scanning using free and open source tool so first of all what is network scanning so this network scanning will comes under uh, vapt phases so whenever a hacker tries to exploit our systems or hack our system so how to prevent uh, from the hackers so the first stage will be the information gathering so information gathering includes uh, ip address or domain names uh, or email addresses so with that ip only we can ip or domain name we can start uh, exploiting so the second stage is the network scan so this is the topic now we are going to discuss so the network scanning includes uh, scanning for the vulnerabilities so with that vulnerability we will try to exploit and uh, hack the system so these all the pre attack phase these two phases comes under pre attack phase so after the attacking phase includes so vulnerability analysis so what are the vulnerabilities that we have got in the scanning phase we will analyze and based on that we will prepare the payloads so after payload we will be exploiting the system or a machine so after that what all the uh, uh, vulnerabilities that we have came across we will we will try to remediate so this what an ethical hacker will be doing in an organization so today's topic is only network scanning so these are the tools that i am going to explain today so the first one is the angry ip scanner so what is this angry ip scanner basically this angry ip scanner means uh, it is an application where uh, if we connect to an, any local network or anything uh, let's say for example if we connect to an, any publicly available wifi or our home network also so what all the ips that are available means which are alive uh, will be uh, shown uh, shown by this tool so so this is how we will get the information so i will show you so this is the official link of this tool so it is available in windows linux mac and all currently i am showing the windows version is it visible okay so basically this tool will be uh, this is the gui of the tool so first we need to give the ip ranges so by default it will take the local ip range let me show you Uh, is it visible now? Yes, sir. Now it's visible, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is the GE of the tool, Angry IP Scanner. So, if we give the IP ranges, uh, let's say uh, now it is ta like taken like 192.168.29.0. By default, it will take the local IP range means i have connected to my home network right so it is taking this ip range let me show my ip my ip address so this is my ip range 
So that's the reason it is taking the local IP range. So it will scan for 192.168.29.0 up to 255. So if we click start, Yeah, since I have not uh, opened with administrator rights, it didn't show previously. So these are the four IP address that are currently alive in my home since I have connected. So it have scanned up to 254 range. So total five, five hosts are alive with two open ports. Two open ports is this. 80, 443, 80, 80, and 443. So you can see this color, right? This green indicates that this IP is currently alive. So the blue indicates this IP is alive, but it is not responding to the ping request. So first one is, okay, this as host name is Reliance. Uh, this is my router IP. This is my local, this mission IP. This is my Android, right? Uh, no, this might be my mobile IP. And this is my smart TV IP. Since I've connected to this local IP, let's try with uh, some external IPs. For external uh, public IPs, I'm using this Shodan. Shodan, this is a search engine where you can get uh, publicly available data. You can search for anything. You will get uh, what are the what what are what is the data that is available in public. It will show. Uh, for example, if I want data about Google. Yeah, we will get some domains which are available. We can even search by countries wise. If you want China, Chinese server Google information. We click China. We click on search. Yeah. Now we can see the Chinese IPs of Google server. And this uh, website will uh, uh, 
predefined uh, the database and it will show what all the, what is the server that they are using and each and in information that we can see here let's try with this ip let's give ranges from 0 to 255 so that we can see another IP which are available, not only this. See, these many IPs are currently alive, but these are uh, these IPs are all are the Chinese IPs. Yeah, total one not eight are alive. So this is how we can get the uh, IP addresses. And one more thing is, if you need to add any fetchers, uh, let's say currently they, they, there are IP, ping, postname, ports, MAC address, and MAC vendors. If you want to add anything, if you want to add time to leave, if you want to add any filter ports, if you want to add any web detect, you can add. To add, just select, just click on this arrow mark, you can add. If there are any uh, user account information can be found from this net bios. And if we click OK, it will be added here. Next, one more thing is if we go for tools, go for preferences. Generally, all uh, all scans will be uh, all IP address scans will be shown here. Till now, I have selected only alive host, so that's the reason we are getting only alive IPs which are available. You click on all scanned hosts, it will it will show which are alive, which are dead. Till now, we have seen only green and blue colors, right? Now we can see this red. Red indicates that this IP is dead. Yeah, total 112 hosts are alive. Like this, we can use this tool. And, and there is a shortcut where you can see each uh, live host. Since this one live host and this one live host, you need to scroll each and every time, right? And there is a shortcut. If you click Control plus H, it will go to next live host. It is uh, going for next live host. Right? Like this, you can see. Or else, you can just uh, check mark this uh, a live host so that it will show only live host which are available. One more thing. And if you are searching for any particular IP in this range, and you can search if you know the IP address, you can give directly give the IP address and you can search here. Yeah, that's it uh, about this tool. Next, we'll go for ARP scan. 
so this arp scan uh, is, is a linux tool uh, which uh, which scans only in the local network previously we have given the ip ranges right in this angular ip scanner in this arp scan we cannot give any ip ranges it will just scan in the network that we have connected to which network that we have connected it will just scan what all ips that are available it will show just show uh, one unique feature about this tool is uh, in in general so many organizations they will hide some of the uh, devices like uh, uh, let's say any server uh, they will just uh, block the ping request so that whenever uh, any hacker tries to get information about uh, the devices which are connected to any organization so the details cannot be visible so by using this arp scan uh, this uses arp protocol which means address res resolution protocol this protocol basically maps ip to mac address so in this uh, angry ip scanner it uses ping request ping request means icmp it uses icmp protocol so in general this icmp protocol will be blocked in so many organizations they will just block just to hide their own ips uh, by using this arp scan we can even if the hacker attempts to hide the device we can get those information this is the github link of the arp scan generally this this tool will be in inbuilt in kali linux show this is the vm i have installed kali linux Yeah, first we use this tool. Just click on ARP minus A. It will give the minimum IP range to maximum IP range of this current network. So let's check the current uh, IP address of this machine. So 192.168.229.128. So that's the reason it took the minimum IP range to maximum IP range. So it will scan, uh, which means uh, it will scan in these uh, um, IP ranges. So to see what all the devices that are connected to this current VM, since only Kali Linux is being installed, right? So minus L indicates the local host. So it will scan in the local host. Let me show the help menu. So I'm using this option, local net. So it will generate the addresses which are connected to this current network. Minus L. Okay, I need to give you the admin rights to do. Okay, these three are the VM network adapter IPs. Since there are no device connected, so it is not showing. If I turn on this Windows 7 or Ubuntu, let me show this. Okay, this is how this ARP scan works. Uh, it can be mainly used uh, whenever we connect to any public Wi-Fi or in any corporate network. 
this tool will be very good next we move on to the next tool so nmap so basically this nmap tool is used for uh, getting information about the open ports and any vulnerabilities that are present so this is basically a port scanning tool uh, it will scan all the ports and what all the ports that are open it will uh, display and it will also detect the OAS means operating system which they are using and what are the services that uh, it is providing also it will show with their versions so this is also an open source tool only so this is basically in only Linux it's not available in windows clear my screen oh. okay let me do this this meta exploitable tool is this uh, this mission is a completely vulnerable mission uh, i'll show you how to download this This is being de uh, designed by the offensive security. This offensive security only I have designed this Kali Linux and all. They are only maintaining this. So you can directly download from this link. This is an OVA file. If you just download and double click, it will be directly open in this VMware. No need of any installation or doing anything simply plug and play tool this machine is generally designed for uh, practice purpose uh, so almost in this mission all ports will be open i guess okay let's scan with this ip using n one First, we will detect the OS, which OS that it is using. For detecting, this is a switch that we need to use. Nmap minus capital O. In Nmap, uh, these switches are case sensitive. So you need to be careful. If you give small O, it, won't, it will throw some errors. Map minus O, you can even give the domain name or the IP address. If you know the domain name, it will throw the IP address. It will give if you give the IP address, it will show the domain name also. So currently, we'll give this meta portable IP. Okay, we need to give root permissions. There is many ports that are open. So 21, there is FTP, SSH, Telnet, SMTP, HTTP. This HTTP and all will be opened by default. See, these many ports are open. And this is the MAC address of that uh, VM. This VM MAC address. So it is currently running Linux, right? Yeah, Linux. And this is the version of that Linux. Okay, let's try with some other uh, switches. So this minus O is used for OS detection only. If you give just uh, 
Hmm. And map IP address. It will just show the ports. Only it does Now here we cannot see the OS details. The default scan will scan only for the open ports. Now if we give minus s capital V. This is used for uh, services and their versions. If you click enter, we can see how much percentage it is being done. So now, yeah, now we got these versions. So it is using FTP 2.3.4. Like for each service and each version. Most of uh, the reason why it is showing this, what we can do with these versions is, uh, for each version, there will be different, different vulnerabilities. So if they are using any outdated versions, we can easily uh, prepare the payload and we can exploit. So that's the use of these versions. So this is the host information. So metasportable.local domain. If you want to scan for any particular, uh, now it is showing every port, right? Uh, if you want to scan, and if you want to, you are looking for only FTP, then you can scan by giving only a particular port number. For that, the switch will be like. <laughs> Yeah, if we give minus P, this is uh, not capital P, small p, 21. 21 is a FTP port number, and you can give any port number you want, so that it will show. And if you want to scan for, uh, let's say, some port number, so like 21 to up to 100, I want to scan. Can give you like this. So twenty one to up to hundred. What are the ports that are open? Can be seen here. Next one. Uh, if you want to scan uh, the popular hundred ports, first popular under hundred ports which are generally in open. For that, you don't need to specify each and every port every time. So for this, uh, in Nmap, there is a shortcut. Just if you give minus F, capital F, and IP address or domain name, it will scan for the first 100 ports. Next, if you want to scan all ports, you Think small p. Now it will scan for all the available ports. <coughs> what else you can see? Till now we have seen only this uh, local IP, right? Now let's uh, search for external IPs. Okay, one more thing I uh, missed. If till now we have uh, mentioned each and every switch, right? Uh, like uh, if you want uh, OS, we have mentioned we need only like minus O is for OS. 
like minus sv like that we have used if you want each and every information about this ip so for this the switch will be like minus a minus a means all so suda and map minus a that particular domain name if you give you'll get each and every information but it takes some time since it performs all the scans it will scan for os service any a domain enumeration subdomain enumeration like that it will check Yeah, it performed each and everything. <clears throat> so it uh, scanned for uh, it. Can it tries to connect for the FTP server? Now there is no session bandwidth limit. This is also vulnerable. Means if you just once log in, you won't get logged out. This session bandwidth limit can be seen in bank uh, websites and all. If you uh, log in for uh, much time it will be automatically logged out right so that is uh, session bandwidth limit so if you log in like this uh, anyone might use if they again uh, open the browser the ftp session will be like that only so this is vulnerable so it should not be like this next telnet is there telnet is for uh, this uh, a remote connection. Telnet is a protocol which is used for the remote connection. Let's say, for example, any desk, the team viewer, these application users is Telnet. So we can easily connect to this IP. using my sql so it generally scans for each and every port and it will give you the details here so it tries to connect for 6000 port but access denied and they are using apache server So trace route is okay. This one eighty two one sixty two twenty nine. So trace route is something like uh, uh, if you click Google dot com from our IP address to Google server, how many IPs that it covers, it will show in trace route. So it it is just covering only one IP. So this is how we can use nmap like we will search for external ips and this time so we will search for yahoo.com running public yes this your server ip but server's default page okay
it's a two years now for this ip right one into two dot four dot one forty four dot two into yeah correct Sixty percent, and yeah, take it is taking some time. Mostly they are using Windows or server guys. Okay. Let's check the version. Like this, there are so many switches. Now I'm currently showing some popular switches you can google the nmap cheat cheat sheet where there will, there will be so many switches which are available in nmap Yeah, it is not getting any information from them. This time we'll use this stealth scan. So this stealth scan is basically used uh, whenever this ping requests are blocked. So this stealth scan can be used. So whenever using this uh, switch, the organ the attacker, uh, if this uh, attacker tries to use this switch, uh, no one can find that someone is scanning our network. If we use uh, these general switches and all, uh, some of the organization will be monitoring the network traffic. So they, there is a chance that they might block our IP. If they block and we cannot perform any scan. Let's try this, but it takes some time, I guess. Okay, whether it is up or not. Using Nmap uh, to ping any domain or IP and use this. Yes, that's the reason we are not getting any information. The host is down. Means that server is currently is it is in offline. Let's try with my IP. Yeah, this is also not working.
start on zone.com Yeah, he is up only. So let's try with this IP. First of all, we'll try to ping. Yeah, it is up. It is taking some time. Let's try with Anderson. It is taking so much time and we will be running out of time. Let's try this fourth scan. Okay, I will show simple for google.com. Since uh, Amazon website is so much big, 
so it's taking so much time for scanning since this is a small uh, application it took uh, less time when it comes to live domains and uh, live websites and all it will take so much time based on the website and the servers that they are using yeah but default these ports are this will be open only 84 port 3 if these ports are also closed we cannot access google completely let's try with uh, one last switch and we'll move on to our next tool Okay, they are also using Linux. Even Google is using. It's been maintained by Sony Ericsson. In Google, we won't get any vulnerabilities because it is highly secure. But this is how we will use this Nmap. Next, we'll move on to next tool. Nikto. So this uh, Nikto is basically a web server scanner. So it will scan the web server and it will uh, show the details of the web server and their versions. And if there are any vulnerabilities or it will show. So let's get into it. So for this, is uh, IP. Okay, for using this Nikto, the command will be like Nikto minus H minus H indicates the host. You can give IP or domain. It's up to you. So it will show each and every details of that uh, web server. So this is the target IP and this is the host name. For host name, they, have, they don't have any particular host name. The IP address itself the host name. So th from this port, it is been scanning using AT. Now we can see here the anti-clickjacking extreme options address is not present. So we can perform clickjacking attack. Excel production is not excellent. Okay. XSX production means uh, it's nothing but cross site scripting. So even that attack can be performed. See, one more thing this Apache server is outdated. So this is a new version. But the old version currently it is using is 2.2.8. 
but this is a new version 2.2.04 so it should be updated okay, let's try to browse this there are some subdomain enumeration like if you click stop php dot admin test php info dot php okay, let's try whether these pages are there or not is open So now these are the subdomains right we have got so what is this dog yeah we got the information <clears throat> In general, this data, if you directly type in the URL, it should not redirect to this. So these also have vulnerability so that uh, our data will be misusing. One PHM admin is there. I think this is the login page. Yeah. You can use brute forcing for logging into this. Some icons are there. <clears throat> Since it is just for uh, testing purpose for our practice purpose they are just created these kind of files uh, if we think in an organization level what if uh, uh, our employee details have been there so each and every employee details will be leaked right so it will be a huge loss for the company so each and every emails on like phone numbers will be misused. 
So this is how we can use this Nectar tool. We can take with any uh, any domain or any IP. Like uh, if we use for Google and all, it takes so much of time. Almost it will take two hours, I guess. So let's move on to next tool. Okay, network manner. <clears throat> so this network manner is used for uh, network traffic analysis. So this network traffic and uh, network packets will be stored in a PCAP file. So these PCAP files can be analyzed in this network manner. Uh, whenever we collect any traffic from Wireshark, so we'll capture and we'll be saving those files, those packets in a PCAP file, right? So these uh, PCAP files can be analyzed in this network manner. So uh, why this network manner is, uh, it will automatically parse each and every data. No need to, in Wireshark, we need to manually uh, enter the filters and all right. In this, there is no need to enter any filters. It will automatically parse the data and show each and every data. Let me show you. So this is the official website for downloading this network manner. Since I'm using just the uh, this free edition. If you buy for professional, so these are the features that are included. Even IOCs can be mapped in this geo IP location. So what all the IPs in which geolocation it is present, it will show those data also. And this DNS whitelisting means uh, the domain, uh, the domain names which are whitelisted and blacklisted, there will be some database. So there will be some blacklisted domains. So whether it is whitelisted or blacklisted can be known there. <laughs> These are my sample pickups. Let me show you this one. So in this pickup, so these are the hosts that are available. See my IP address with my host name. If you drop down, if you click this plus icon here, you'll get each and every details about this IP address. So IP address, Mac, so the vendor, so Intel Corporation, so the host name. So how many packets have been sent? How many packets that I have received? So there are no incoming section, sessions, means no IP has tried a connection with this IP. Only I have tried the outgoing sessions. So these are the server details. So with this server, I guess. See each and every data can be seen in this uh, tool. Where else in Wireshark also we can see, but we need to apply filters and all. So with this network manner, it is an automated tool. No need to manually enter anything. Just drag and drop your PCAP. Every detail will be passed here. So these are the files that are available in this PCAP. So there are so many images. Dot PNG, dot JPG, almost eight are there. Next dot HTML.
So we can see their hash values also. So all these files can be seen here. dot 164 so for the these folders names are based on the ip address so this particular ip so these are the files that have been fetched from this picture so what is this index.html So look like they have connected through FTP with this Apache server. So these the IP address with port 80. Okay, let's dig into it. So these are the files and these are the images that they have fetched. So there are no messages or any credentials. So if we use any credentials, let's say any usernames or passwords, this can be Seen here, seen here. If the uh, if the domain is using HTTP protocol only, we can see. If it is using HTTPS, uh, those will be encrypted, so we cannot see here. So we can see the username, password, and all. So these are the sessions that have been established. So this is the client host. The client host means which is my Mine. Oh, no. so, so this from this IP to this is a server host. I have connected. So after this, we can see here from this IP to twenty nine dot one sixty four. This is the, the Linux IP, I guess, that Apache server IP. Let's check whether it is right or not. Yeah. From this, uh, this is a server, right? 192.168.29.164. So these are the uh, sessions that have been established in this. So 192.168.29.164. So we need to map each and everything like this manually. In Wireshark, there is no need of uh, this thing and all. You just apply any filter, we can see data clearly in there, in one window. This is the disadvantage in this tool. We need to map manually each and everything. So these are the DNS queries that have been established in this. <laughs> This is my server MAC address. And this is the local address. So this is my Windows IP. So on 26th of April, 2021. So the whole traffic is on this 26th of April. And let's check in the parameters here. <clears throat> okay, this is the domain name of that uh, particular uh, Apache server. See, we have already seen in that HTML page, right? Now we can see here the server details, Apache server they are using. Okay, by this we can clearly conclude that uh, from 
from this IP to this IP. <coughs> so the attacker had fetched some of the files that that is images. So so the the HTTP method is get. Get request means fetching details from the server. So let's search by this dot jpg right. So for each and everything, it is get request. This is the source host. So for this host, it is being sent. The destination host means the server IP. So this is the timestamp, right? 2021, two, yeah. That should be so we can see like in this network manner. Server. So they are using Apache server. We can give any keywords. Uh, if it is available, it will just show. And you can modify this if you don't know the exact uh, spelling. If you know just some, let's say you know the password of first three letters, yeah, and you are searching for the in this network traffic, so you can give any word. Any word means like uh, if you give the first three letters, if that letter matches in anything, it will just show. Like this, we can use this network miner. that's it from my end any queries yeah, do you have any queries i can again explain anything thank you hello Any questions from the audience? Any questions you can text in the chat box.
Okay, Sudana. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, no uh, more questions from the. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, I thank uh, Mr. Dinakar Ado, uh, sir, uh, for uh, giving the information about uh, the cyber security and uh, solutions. Um, the session was very uh, informative. So you have given us uh, the broad uh, topic on uh, the scanning tools, and also we have also information of a certain. Uh, uh, we learned about uh, Telenet protocols and its functions and applications, and also mm -hmm. switches we use in um, Nmap. Okay, it is a very informative session, and uh, thank you on behalf of our Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. We thank you, the Dinakar Adosar. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. It's my pleasure. Okay, uh, dear participants, the feedback link on the session three has been posted in the chat box. Please make time to fill up the form. And the session we are going to close for two minutes. And then again, we'll open it for the last session for the day two.